Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today I thought it would be a great video just to introduce the four pillars of a car. Um, it's pretty simple in terms of you know what you're looking for. There's four pillars of a car, A, B, C, D. Um, D is not so popular, but I mean, we'll talk about it all in this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give me a subscribe, make sure to like it, and make sure to comment down below future suggestions. Alrighty, let's get into it. A pillar, um, the pillar is in the front of the car. It supports the front windshield and the first part of the roof. Um, I'll throw a picture on screen of what it looks like. I'll circle it to make sure that you know. Um, this is the first pillar of the car and it's very crucial because it holds that front windshield piece in place. And that front windshield piece is pretty important. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it to an A pillar. I mean, there's not much to it. And it's a pretty big blind spot, um, not as much as a C pillar, which I'll talk about later. Um, but it is, you know, a blind spot turning right or turning left. Um, you can't see sometimes what's going on. Um, but a 14 year old found a solution to this. I think it was a 14 year old, I'm not too sure. Um, but they made an A pillar transparent so that you can see through it. Um, and I think that's still in testing phases, but um, it's a pretty cool invention regardless. Uh, next, we're moving on to the B pillar. Um, this is just past the front door, um, the driver door and just before the passenger door in the back. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. I mean, you don't really need it back in the old cars because they were fully made out of metal. Um, and those cars were very strong. But now today you kind of need a B pillar just because the cars today are not as strong. They're built with plastic and things like that, um, just so they can be more cost effective. But um, I will throw a picture on screen of what a B-pillar looks like in similar cars um, and including what it looks like with an older car. Um, in my opinion, I think the older cars look pretty cool without a B-pillar because um, they, don't, they don't really need it for the structural integrity. Um, but I mean, they look pretty cool when you roll down the windows and you have nothing there. Uh, next, we have the C-pillar, which is um, also a very big blind spot, especially in sports cars like this BMW M4. Um, the C pillar is circled so that you know what it is. Um, so back there, it's pretty, I mean, it holds the rear windshield and it also supports the roof. So again, it's a big crucial part. Um, it's just like the A pillar. It's a blind spot on sports cars, but I mean, on regular cars, it's not so much of a blind spot. You can still see, um, but nowadays people have blind spot monitoring. So that kind of eliminates the blind spot um, feature of the C pillar. Now let's get into the D pillar. It's not so common, um, but it's mostly used on vehicles like a minivan or a Cadillac Escalade. Um, these are just some examples, but I mean, people have more kids, they want more seats in their cars, and they want to be able to haul more things in their cars. It makes sense why people want these. And, you know, these big cars need D pillars because not just three pillars can support them. They also need a fourth D pillar. Um, it's not so big. Um, it's not a very big pillar, but I mean, it does do some help um, to the car, you know, especially when it weighs upwards of 6,000 pounds and above. As I explained, the four pillars are the A, B, C, and D pillars. Um, I just wanted to get you guys familiar with what those are. I know I didn't know them at first, um, so I thought this would be a good video to really inform you guys on what those are. I know you can do a quick Google search, but I think a video is more informative um, and it really helps people learn, especially me. So without further ado, make sure you subscribe with post notifications on so you don't miss another uh, YouTube video from me. I'll do YouTube terminology, uh, car terminology and things like that, just to really familiarize yourself, you know, when you're getting a project car or you're trying to work on your car yourself. Um, so leave a comment down below what you want me to do next. I take suggestions. I don't really have a plan of what I'm doing next in terms of videos. So, you know, just shoot a comment down below and, um, thank you if you made it this far into the video. Um, and yeah, thank you. Red limit.